Hi peeps, it's gloriously dark and dreary here right now. I'm really starting to feel the fall energy and super stoked for this week's videos, but I figured we would kick the week off with an unboxing. One of my students recently recommended this deck to me and I'm super excited to actually look at the artwork in person and look at the deck itself with you all. Um, she has found it to be very helpful in regards to relationship readings. And so if you are looking for a deck that might have a focus on that, this is one that has been recommended to me as a great relationship deck, as well as a general tarot deck also. And if it's, you know, a deck you just resonate with the artwork with, that's an option as well, right? So I love the mystical manga deck. Um, magical manga, mystical manga. I always get mystical moments and the manga deck confused. Anyhow, I love those decks. I also have quite a few coloring books in a similar um, genre theme. And so the artwork in this deck, I'm pretty sure I'm already going to love. I'm, I'm really, really stoked about this, but we will see for sure in a few moments. As you can see, it's still got the plastic wrap on it. I have not opened it yet. Um, it is the Heavenly Bloom Tarot deck. Now the sides are actually really pretty. Look at that. You see that? really gorgeous. And then the top is just published by US Game Systems. The back says Heavenly Bloom Tarot blossoms with inspiration from both the natural and fantasy realms. Beautiful floral elements throughout convey peace and optimism. Five groups rule this deck, a winged intellectual tribe, strong fiery desert warriors, amphibious elemental spirits, and a druidic tribe of earth spirits. Each holds influence over a suit in an elemental sphere, offering us diverse perspectives of life on Earth. Humans also share their experiences and hopeful insights as stewards of our precious planet. Include 78 cards and 72 page guidebook. And there's the backing if that interests you. Best gift ever. Okay, let's see what we think guys. I'm I refuse to break a nail on camera again. <laughs> still, that's still card cam. I don't even remember what video that is, guys, but I totally did break a nail on camera. Okay, so we're gonna put this away so that we don't lose it. All right, so it, the box itself has like a really nice matte finish. You guys know I'm all about that matte life. Um, oh, inside of the box is this really soft pink. And here is the guidebook by Noi Ikeda. I apologize if I am butchering that name. Oh, interesting. Okay, bottom of the box is the same color. Look at the size difference. So longer and thinner here. And this backing is really, really pretty. And oh, oh, oh my God. Shut the front door, it's rose gold finish. I think that my student um, did tell me that, but I <laughs> lost track of the artwork itself because it was so beautiful. I was like, I have to purchase this deck immediately. Look at that artwork, the gilding. Oh. oh, I'm so stoked to actually get this in my hands. All right, let's see what we think. Okay, but now I don't want to hurt the gilding. So you guys know if you're a fellow Taurus or if you just happen to be a clumsy person, I have to be so cautious about how I open up tarot decks because I will damage gilding on decks if I'm not careful. And it's totally my fault. It's not a fault of the distributor. Okay. It's going to be a rambly video. I can feel it coming. All right. So let's start. Oh, they're, they are slippery. Um, cardstock is kind of typical U.S. game systems. I would say you're going to want to exercise care in your shuffle. But look at, yeah, see how glossy it is? Oh my goodness. Look at how pretty that is. There's the fool. Here's the magician. Oh guys, look at the high priestess. Okay, you have to like this art, this type of artwork. But if you do, this is absolutely gorgeous. And I, I was uh, expressing when I was shown the deck how I liked that there wasn't like an overwhelm of like so much going on in the images. I like that there's space within them to breathe. Oh, this deck is so beautiful. 
Oh my god, I can't thank my student enough for recommending this deck to me. And guys, I am really in love with this. I feel like I I feel like I paid $22 on Amazon. There's the chariot. Oh, the strength card is so pretty. Oh my goodness, guys. I just want to like hang out with this deck all afternoon. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm going to definitely show you all the majors so you get an idea. <gasps> oh, the death card is absolutely stunning. Look at that. It's so hard not to get a reflection on the image. I'm sorry, guys. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Here's Temperance. Here's the devil. Guys, look at this tower. How have I not heard about this deck? Look at this tower card. I am obsessed with this tower card. I'm putting that aside so I can, oh my God, this deck is so beautiful. Wow. This deck needs a fruity drink. Like if we were going on a date, they would definitely Definitely gender fluid and I feel like we need a fruity drink. I feel like we need something with like bubbles and fruit, strawberries and Prosecco or like something sweet. And they're probably dairy free. So I feel like we can't have cheese. We can't have like a charcuterie board, no cheese on this date. I feel like though we would eat a lot of fresh veg vegetables and fruit and talk a lot about life on other planets and alternate realities, right? Isn't this deck like, oh my God, which speaking of, I do have to do another installment and date my decks. I know guys, don't worry. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now we move into the swords element, which I didn't even look at the guidebook first, guys. This is how like lusty I am about this deck. I didn't, I always look at the guidebook first. Oh my God, you guys like, laughing your ass off right now oh three of swords is really different we have the four the five really beautiful look at that six of swords oh my god it's glorious Okay, this is like one that I want to do some storytelling with. I feel like this deck will really lend itself well to that. I do want to say it's super slippery. It is super slippery. If the artwork wasn't this amazing, I might feel, feel a little less inclined to want to work with this constantly because it's so slippery. But the artwork is so beautiful, I literally don't care. Like, I, I'll have a designated tarot bag so it can travel with me. Okay. Oh my god, look at this Ten of Swords, guys. It's like there isn't a whole ton going on in the image, but you you kind of have to slow down and look to really fully capture everything that's going on. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh, and the king is a girl as well. Oh my God, I love this. Oh, this is so pretty. Stick a fork in me. Oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. So now we're into the wands element. Oh, look, and we did, I was shown this five, I believe. And I was like, oh my God, look at that. Look at that five. It's a seven. Seven of Wands is such an interesting um, deck. Uh, deck. Seven of Wands is such an interesting card. Oh my God. Sorry, guys. I'm so out of it today. I just, it's such sleepy weather. You know, it just makes you like, it takes things a little time to filter through. Seven of Wands is such an interesting card. And I am going to do a video just on that card in the Witch, uh, Witchcraft and Tarot series. Look at the, that image. Oh, my God. Um, because 
I do really, I, I've really grown with how I interpret and work with that card over the years. And yet a core piece of that has remained fundamentally the same. Um, and it's just one of those cards that the more and more I read with tarot, when it shows up in a reading, I really, really stop and pay attention to what that is saying and the significance of that card in the reading for the clarent or for myself. Okay, so now we move into the um, suit of the cups. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I, I'm just, it's so beautiful. Oh, look at the three of cups. Oh my God, the four of cups is like stunning. And then I was shown the five of cups as well and it's actually one of the deciding factors for me. Look at how beautiful that rendition of the five is. Guys, I'm shook. I can't wait to work with this. I'm so, so excited to do a reading with this. I can't wait. Oh my God, the Eight of Cups is gorgeous. That's another card that, another of the minors that just really, the farther along I get with Tarot, the Eight of Cups, Seven of Wands, there's just something about them that really, really stick out to me and feel really, really important. Oh, I love this page. It's so beautiful. Oh, look at the queen. And this king is glorious. I love those colors. I mean, Avi, I love those colors. Look at my red and black life. And then the pentacles are the laurels. So, oh, I was just gonna say um, that of the four suits, the pentacles, the laurels are the ones that I'm feeling like maybe the least connected to until I saw the four of laurels. Look at this. That's stunning. Look at the five. Okay, I can't even say what I was gonna say because I'm actually really, really, I'm so, uh, this is pure lust right now. I cannot wait, I cannot wait to clear this deck. I can't wait to hang out with her. Okay, so nine of pentacles, three of swords, as you guys know, always determining cards for me. This. <laughs> Yeah, this does not disappoint at all. Ten of laurels. And then we move into the core cards here. Oh, the knight is glorious. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And then there's the beautiful queen. And then we have the king. Kind of a, a traditional representation there. Or... I don't mean that in a negative way, just, just how we often see that king represented. So, wow. Two, oh, wait, we didn't even talk about the guidebook. Okay, so let's talk about the guidebook for a second. So let's see what we got here. Um, oh, very, like, first person writing here on the abouts. So the swords are a winged tribe called the Sanclis, and they are the ruling race. The wands have a tribe of strong desert warrior, warriors. The Adunians lord over the wands. The elder fire spirit named Veradun is their creator. Oh wow, there's like a, a origin story for each. The ruling tribe of the cups are the Yorin. They're older than written history, but their origins can be traced to the legend about the elder water spirit Sushin. And then the laurels, which were originally pentacles, was renamed laurels to fit the concept of the deck. They're the dru druidic tribe of Elun, rules this suit. They were created long ago by an elder earth spirit named Elkara. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. So it says, while the meanings in this deck are mostly akin to the Rider Waits in the tarot deck, the symbolism and subjects are based on my own interpretations. And she and they, excuse me, included a reverse meaning for each card. Um, with an encouragement to really trust your intuition here this is gorgeous so you do get some basic card meanings let's check out the minors the minors definitely have less it's kind of like a traditional little white book which you would expect i'm very intrigued to read that and see how it resonates for me i really love this deck i love the artwork i'm obsessed with it i can't wait to work with this deck more often when was this 2022 so it is a newer deck um i would i will say this 
if you love this artwork, you're going to love this deck. If you're not a fan of this style of artwork, then it's probably not one that you need to purchase. Other than if you want to work with a slightly, um, with a slight variation of traditional Rider Waite Smith tarot symbolism. The backings are glorious. The gilded edging is beautiful. I can't wait to work with it. And definitely that tower card is like pure gold to me. So I am so stoked to work with this deck. I want to thank my student who recommended this deck to me so very, very much from the bottom of my heart. As you all know, there will be a full review. And of course, this week, there'll be another installment of Date My Decks, especially since I just gave a little teaser there. And also be talking a little bit about um, my path for early fall 2022. But as always, I am sending you all so much love and many blessings. I hope you are doing well out there in the world. And as always, I will see you in the next video.